Boys, boys, I cannot let this historic moment pass without a few words. As your member of parliament, most of you know me. For those of you that don't, keep your hands on your wallets. <laughs> we are as one on this great issue. Australia will defend the mother country to the last man and the last shilling. Would to God that I could go with you, boys. Oh, no. A fair think I'm would to God. As one whose duty lies at the home front, I want you boys always to know that Cyril Earnshaw is right behind you. Yeah, 12,000 miles behind you. <laughs> if you had one speck of shame, you'd join up. I am going to join up. Going to join your outfit. My outfit? Yeah, B Company. Be here when they go and be here when they come back. <laughs> You're joining us, are you? I well, might as well. It comes to a choice between face and the guns. Face and old windbags like him. I'll take the guns every time. Fat Cleary. Martin Barrington. Pleased to meet you, Martin. Yeah. Baker. Stockman. Cleary. Middleweight champion of North Queensland. All-time champion horse breaker of the outer bar coup. And breaker of women's hearts everywhere. Oh. Anything else? Well, sometimes I tell lies. <laughs> Shut up, Cleary. Next. Fellas, put these on your service dress. And we're off to the firing range. Hey, beauty. Yep. That's cool. Hang on, Marty. It's Australia. I'm a Queenslander. Bad luck, Pat. Officially Australian now, mate. Oh, well, that's not so bad. For a minute there, I thought you were going to make me a Victorian. Well, what's wrong yeah. with Victorians, you banana bender? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Have you got a couple of hours? Uh, <laughs> watch yourself. Blimey! It takes a bleeding war in Europe to make you lot understand you all belong to the same country. He's right, you know. Oh, yeah, he's right, you know. Yeah, Bill. Yeah, you <laughs> yeah, blokes have never eaten like this before, let me tell you. And of course, me piece to resistance. Damper started with raisins, smothered with apricot jam. Spotted dog. Looks more like a sick cat to me. Yeah, yeah, we'll show you city blokes how we live like kings up the bush. Mmm. All that's missing is a tender little leg of jumbuck. How about a bit of Queensland goat? I heard that. And if I recognise the voice, you'll get nothing. Sit there with... You <laughs> bastards! Chicken rotten, fly blown, filthy mongrel of a dump. I wouldn't swap ten yards of the drought stricken Baku for this whole bloody rotten fly blown peninsula. Yeah, you'll all be here. We'll all be here with bloody old men. You already are, you silly coot. Oh, no. Stop it! You could kill somebody with that. <laughs> Bayonet, 18 inches of cold steel. That would have drawn every sniper on Gallipoli. Bayonet, weapon of the assault. The spirit of the bayonet must be inculcated through all ranks so they go forward with aggressive determination. Sergeant, put on the killing face. Hang ya! <laughs> Stay on the crows, that's the face that killed his mother-in-law. <laughs> One more remark like that, and you're up on the charge. That man! 
stand out here by the bayonet, dummy. Well, I can keep an eye on you. We've been warned about you Australians. Absolutely no discipline. Well, let me tell you, you're not fighting the Turk now. This isn't the Bashe Bazoops. This is a real war against a first-class enemy. But the Hun can't stand cold steel. Sergeant, the final demonstration. Hang on! Morrissey. Oh, didn't see you there, Pat. Bad light, was it? Eh? Hey? <laughs> yeah. Thirty-five francs. Better luck next time. Hey, Bill. Got a minute, mate? Listen, uh, got a bit of a job on later tonight. I wonder if you could give me a hand. Oh, well, I would if I could, but I'm on a carrying party at 0300, carrying two tonnes of barbed wire, ammunition, duck boards, and orders of the bleeding day up into the line. Listen, uh, I'll give you a hand with that if you give me a hand with my uh, little job. Ah, uh, wouldn't be uh, against King's regulations, would Ah, oh, heaven forbid. No, uh, special orders from General Haig, mate. Uh, could shorten the war by months. Matter of fact, the High Command specifically requested that I have at least one POM on the job. In that case... Pardon? Absolute vigilance, do you hear? This consignment of whiskey is for General Headquarters. Every case must be accounted for. Particularly as there are Australians in the area. Carry on, Corporal. Sir, good stuff, sir! Right, lads, we're back! Prepare to begin. Stop! Look, there's one of them! Arrest him! Hang on, fair go. We were ordered here to pick up the Padre's Alden wine. A likely story. He's right, sir. It's all in order. Well, there's no wine here, so clear off. Clear off? If there's no service tomorrow, there's going to be all to pay. The Padre's Out! On Get out! Well, we were going to be all the boys. Go! It's our first mass. Carry on. Hear the count loudly. Twenty-two! Twenty-five! Eighty! Twenty-seven! Twenty-six! Twenty-seven! Sixty-two! Seventy! Sixty-four! Hundred and twenty-one! Hundred and twenty-two! One hundred and six! Oh, come on, you slackers! There's another twenty-five to come off yet! I beg your pardon, sir! But there's only two left. What? We've been robbed! Hey, sir, there's the man responsible. I'll nab him. Security to that one. Follow me! Come back, Captain! Come back! You're under arrest! 22 exactly. My bill, France. That'll do me. Madam? France. More opportunities here for an enterprising businessman such as myself. Found Gallipoli a bit restricting that way. You do not expect me to keep this loot here. Loot? Oh, no, we're just mining it for General Haig. See, it's got his name on the bottle. Oh, you say bull. Oh, it was this for a while anyway. Anyway, you're going to have to uh, mind it until we get the marketing operation underway. No, why should I have the risk? Because half of it's yours. Why you do this? Oh, I don't know. Can't help myself. Generosity runs in the family. Besides, it'll mark the beginning of our uh, partnership. Partnership? There's a lot more stuff like this out there just waiting to fall off the back of a truck. Oh, thank you, General! No worries. 
Ne va pas trop loin, chérie. Hey, come look at this. You two men, stand fast there. Don't you salute in your army? Not a lot. Well, we used to, but we're trying to give it up. Until you are fit for me to lead you into the great battle which is about to commence. From now on, there will be no Christian names. Your Tom, Dicks and Harrys will be lieutenants, sergeants and corporals, as laid down. The old sloppy ways departed in the car ten minutes ago. Do I make myself clear? I go tickle your ass with a feather. <laughs> what did that man say? What did he say? He said particularly nasty weather. Did you say that? No, I didn't say that. I just said what he said. Who said it then? Well, I don't know. Someone behind me somewhere. Well, who gave you permission to speak? You did. You said, what did he say? And I said... Silence! He... I was just trying to say what he said. Sergeant, start this man. What with, sir? With saying that I... No, with insolence, damn it. Take this rail and give them two hours close order drill. Sir. Come day. On to the left. Left, go! Right, left! Quick, up! Left, right, left, right! Shoulders back! I've been looking at your boots, Pat. They're pretty good. Yeah, Adam Taylor, mate. Listen, mate. When you get knocked, can I have it? Tell you what. They cost me 100 francs. You give me 20 francs right now, and they're yours when I get killed. Oh, OK. Bargain. What if you don't get killed? Don't be such a bloody pessimist. Of course I'll get killed. Sort of some of them grenades there, will you put? Here's my old granddad's shit. Worry never made the family fortune. What did Dad say? I don't know, like you, son, I never met him. <laughs> Where are you going, mate? Oh, just gonna have a look around. The Germans are over that way, Pat. Yeah, so are the souvenirs, mate, and souvenirs mean money. Yeah, but Fritz will get you. Yeah, but I've got to get a bankroll, haven't I, if I'm gonna win back all that money I lost to craps. Listen, Pat, if Bill finds out about... Shh! The... Anyone dobs me in? They're on 10% interest. What is it, mate? There's something out there. This is grapefruit. Can I play? You got any money? Oh, I got a bit. Sir! 
You are surely welcome. Thank you very much. Even money, boys. Even money. Come on. Yeah. Paddle fix them. Come on. Dead right, Puddin. And when he's taken all their money, they'll have to go home, won't they? Come on, boy. Come on. Here. Seven!